Yep. I am tipping the canola oil, the good canola oil and methanol mixture away from the gristle. The junk, the gunk that has fallen down to the bottom. Now let's have a look at the difference. Inside there, it's the bad gristle, and in here is a lighter colour. That's a much lighter colour oil. You see that it's completely black. You can just see at the edges where the line is drawn and that is not completely black, that is a lighter colour so we pour it back into the container once we've got rid of the gristle now if you put uh, your vegetable peelings, if you cover that with gristle you won't have any fruit flies flying around it okay I'm going to push, pour the wasp oil back into the container, 50 litre container that I just rinsed out clean and got rid of the black black junk at the bottom. So I'm going to pour that into there. washed the oil it's been separated it's the first wash this is the first wash one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten right put the water in Give it a good shake. Give it a good shake. You do it that rough about 50 times and you're right. This is a small pump. This and this is a long glove. Now you can see it's extra white at the bottom of that 50 litre container. It's extra white. That's the water that sunk to the bottom. I'm going to use this to remove most of it and then I'm going to pour the oil that's left over into that and then throw away the, water, the little bit of water that's left over and then give it a second wash. Now, to get the water out, I have to tip it. Because the water is too flat. Put this in here, like this. Tip the container forward, and then I pump. When I feel the plastic on the bottom, I pump. But I've got to do it so I'm not putting any pressure on the tube. There we go. And the colour of it coming out should be white, and it is. And I'll do that till all the water's out. I 
Diving the water out, you can see at the base of the Fafilita drum, it's, it's now the same colour, everything the same colour. I clean this bucket that I poured the water in. And then I'll put pour all the oil in here. Because I'm bound to miss some water. Here's an example of the, the, what you've got to keep separate. The water from the oil. See how the oil floats to the bottom? Now I've got that much left, but there's still a little bit of water in there. In the big container. And I poured the good oil into there. That's what it looks like after the first wash. After I completely empty the container, I just give it a wipe with a tea towel and on the inside and I'll tea towel and I let that water mixture separate. And I'll save that till another time. Now I shall pour the oil from the first wash back into the 50 litre container. It's the second wash. Careful at the end not to let any gunk in or dirt or water, any sand flies, any, anything that's got into it. And sunk to the bottom. Here's me giving it another shake. Just give it a longer shake than that. I want it really mixed well. 